Okay, everyone, welcome to our next talk, um, Buying Snacks via NFC with GNU Thaler, or GNU Thaler is, I think, the better pronunciation. Our speakers are Dominic and Marco. Please give them a warm round of applause. So, we came here today to tell you the story about Fred was hacking all, hacking all night when he realized that he was really hungry. So he went to the next snack machine and just to realize there that he has no coins left. And he didn't want to share his private data with paying by his credit card. So if you can relate with Fred, then maybe we have got a solution for you. We implemented the software for a snack machine running a GNU Taller payment system where you can pay with NFC. If you don't know what Taller is at this moment, don't worry, we will tell you a short, we will give you a short introduction later. But first, let me introduce you to who we are. Um, did my colleague here is Dominic. He has finished his bachelor's studies at the Bern University of Applied Sciences in uh, Micron Medical Technic technology this year and I'm Marco I have I am studying computer science also at the Bern University of Applied Science so you can imagine us as two students the first time diving into embedded development and we did not know what taller is or what MDB communication is when we got this project from our supervisors um, Christian Grotov who is developer from the taller payment systems, and also a professor at the Bern University of Applied Sciences, and from Andreas Habecker, who is not here today, but he gave us the course in, or the lecture in um, embedded Linux. So what is GNU Taller? GNU Taller is not a new cryptocurrency, because you can pay in existing currencies like euros, US dollar, or even bitcoins. And the developers call it privacy preserving, because you can spend money without, no, uh, without sharing your private data. And they call it practical, because you get the comfort of digital payments but you also get the privacy of cash. And it's legally compliant with all these futures because it has to be um, compliant to the money laundering law. The state can visit... Um, is it, the income of a merchant is visible to the state. But if you want to know more about uh, GNU Thaler, please visit... Oh, that's wrong. Sorry. <laughs> Just how Taller works. You as a customer, you have to create an account on the Taller website exchange and you have to download the wallet on your mobile phone or on your browser. Then you can tell your bank to found this account with your currency, which then will exchange to Taller coins and you can withdraw them to your wallet. If you got these coins on your wallet, you can go to some merchant and spend them there. And the merchant has then to deposit the coins again on his, ex his exchange and will get the, the, the money to his, in his currency on his bank account. But if you want more detail about Taller or Yes, about Taller. Please visit Taller.net or ask Christian or the other Taller crew at the stand. <laughs> so, yeah, now, uh, um, what was the project? So, uh, we had uh, a project in the M embedded Linux course, and the motivation behind this was. Uh, to build an easy-to-use Taller demonstrator to demonstrate the Taller payment system. Um, yeah, to give the capability to buy real goods and stuff uh, to a customer by using the Taller tokens. Uh, because for, uh, before there were just um, the demo applications. 
and then uh, of course doing a cool project uh, for our courses at the Bern University of Applied Sciences. Then what were the goals? Um, to integrate a Taylor, Taylor API in an embedded Linux environment. So we implemented the, or we, we tried to implement an interface between the Taylor backend and uh, our hardware, the snack machine. Uh, then the integration of the communication protocol, uh, which is supported by vending machines. That's the MDB ICP protocol, uh, which was developed by Coca-Cola and is now a worldwide standard for the communication in vending machines. And then, of course, building a prototype uh, based on the taller payment system to show it here at the 36T3. And the vision, yeah, of course, increase the awareness of the Tal project worldwide and to industrialize, for, to industrialize uh, a prototype in uh, future steps. <coughs> so what was the concept? Here we have the taller backend. For us, this was like a black box. Uh, so we had Christian uh, who made this with his developers and uh, we had just this REST API to communicate. Then we took a computer and we implemented the interface with the snack machine and an interface to communicate with the taller wallet via NFC. And the idea was to, to give the uh, ability to the customer to choose a product on the snack machine then get the information about the product, make an order in the backend, sell it via NFC to the wallet of the customer and to check if the purchase was confirmed or not, and then to send this information again to the snack machine and to uh, deliver the product to the customer. So how was this done? Yeah, we, we got a lot of hardware to get this task done. Uh, we had some MDB converters, uh, a, a display, an NFC reader, a testbed, uh, and a computer or a Raspberry Pi. And we had to pull all together to implement our prototype. Uh, what we have used was uh, Raspberry Pi, Pi 3P Plus. Uh, we decided to take this um, because we used it in the course of, and uh, also it is easy to, to, for fast prototyping and for fast development. And then we had an MDB ICP converter from Shanghai Wifer Microelectronics. Um, we, tr we used three different products, or we tried to use, but this one was the easiest way, easiest to implement. So we decided to take this one. And then we had a test bed for the MDB communication. That's just a simulator for a, a vending machine. And uh, we got this from Braumann AG in, that's a small company in Switzerland. Then of course we had the NFC reader which is connected via USB to the Raspberry Pi. And finally, uh, display. And we decided to use a display to show a QR code because not every uh, smartphone has an NFC uh, implemented. How, do, how does the software look? Um, like you have seen before, we use the Raspberry Pi and our software is depending on internet because Taller really uses an um, internet connection. So if you come to our snack machine, please don't worry if it's not um, loaded quickly. Uh, on the Raspberry, there is running a Raspbian Linux and for our software, you use the GNU net libraries and the lib NFC, le NFC for the NFC communication, which sometimes maybe will be replaced with a better one. And we use libqr encode to encode the QR 
codes to pay the, the goods. And we also used LibTaller. Uh, in our first tries, we tried to implement the communication with Taller ourselves via libcurl, but then we realized that Taller um, gives us the, the interface to do it a lot easier, and we, we were much quicker. Yeah, I think that if you want to know more about the source code as it's open source, you can have an insight that the taller repositories. And yes, as you imagine us, we had a lot of hacking and a lot of hardware, a lot of bugs, and finally we threw it all into a big funnel and our snack machine came out. But that was not easily done, and we had a lot of challenges on our way. So we had to do uh, a bit of magic, and uh, what were the challenges? I think the biggest challenge was the MDB converters. Uh, because they are not open, it's the MDB protocol is a proprietary protocol, and so uh, the vendors of these converters, they want to make money, so they don't uh, offer us the hardware implementation, so it's a bit a black box. And then also, of course, the software of the snack machines is not open source, so uh, you have to figure out how you can communicate with them. And the MDB standard differs from vendor to vendor, so we talked also with a vendor for coffee machines, and uh, he said he, they have also a lot of problems to implement this MDB um, protocol because it differs from vendor to vendor or from snack machine to snack machine. So we had there a lot of problems. Also today, we were hacking the whole day uh, to get this uh, application working. So what are, is the project outlook? Uh, we want to offer the internet over the NFC. If you uh, have no internet connection on your phone. Uh, then we have a bachelor thesis in the next semester at the Bern University of Applied Sciences, uh, where the goal is to develop um, an embedded hardware uh, which can convert the MDB ICP protocol to a normal serial protocol and also uh, implements the computing unit. Then the snack machine gets exposed and the, at the World Economic Forum, uh, the WEF in Davos in January. And uh, finally, after the WEF, it gets installed at the Bern University of Applied Science in Biel uh, to give the ability to the students to buy snacks and other stuff with the taller payment system. So there is also uh, it's not a lot to do, and uh, yeah. Yes. Now, um, how does it work at the 36 C3? First, you have to download your wallet to your mobile phone. You can do this via the Play Store or with the link at our um, stand. Then you have to come to us where you can come to me or to my colleagues and exchange your euros to taller coins, which you can withdraw to your wallet. When you have withdrawn these coins, you can have fun and spend them on our snack machine. So <laughs> if you remember Fred from the beginning, who was hungry and angry at the same time, so now he's lucky because he can pay his food with taller wallets and uh, pay with his, his smartphone via NFC or via QR code. And so I hope it will be the same for you when you come and visit us at uh, our stand. Um, yeah, thank you for your attention. And if you have qu questions, I think we have no time for a few. Thank you. Now we have 10 minutes for Q&A. I have a question. Where is your stand? Where is the vending machine? Over there. Okay. So
Yeah, over, right over there, the, I think it's the second or third boat from here. Okay, so you have a question. Can you, um, can someone give him the microphone, please? I, I hello, test, test. Also just yell it and we will repeat it. Okay. Komm doch einfach her. Yeah, uh, not a question as much as a couple more remarks. Uh, first of all, you cannot just buy stuff at the snack machine with this. You can also donate uh, to the Center for Tech Cultivation. They've set up a web page uh, which you can access via buy at buywith.haler.net which will link to it, and if the Holland Foundation gets their act together, they'll have a second web page where you can donate with Thaler online. So you can use your mobile phone to do online payments as well. Uh, and I should mention, this is not for profit. Any money that you lose, as in you didn't spend in a wallet, or any profits we might accidentally make by the whole thing, will be donated to the Digital Courage. So don't be worried about losing money with this. It will all be going for a good cause anyway. Thank you. Any other questions? Does the internet have any questions? No? All right, I will give you a few seconds to collect yourselves and come up with some more questions. Or do you have anything else that you want to tell us? Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, just visit us uh, at our stand. Uh, there you can ask some questions if uh, yeah, you have some more after, and yeah, buy some snacks, have fun. Okay, please give our speakers another warm round of applause.